जय श्री राम दिस इज अ टेक्स्ट कंप्लीशन एक्सरसाइज लेट एस सी लेट्स लुक एट द वर्ल्ड्स बिलो सॉलिप्सिस्टिक सॉलिप्सिस्टिक मींस सेल्फ एब्जॉर्ब्ड ऑलवेज थिंकिंग अबाउट वन सेल्फ एंड वन नीड्स वेरी सेल्फिश एंड ईगोइस्टिक सेल्फ एब्जॉर्ब्ड सेल्फ इंडल्जेंट सोफोमोरिक मीन्स इमेच्योर क्विकसोटिक मीन्स आइडियलिस्टिक एंड इम्प्रैक्टिकल so the opposite of quixotic is practical arresting means very attractive very attractive and very original and arresting beauty so newborn babies are perfectly dash as yet unable to be connected for others or even to understand the difference between themselves and the world around them as young children mature they make the dash discovery that other people exist and have their own needs and desires in other words that the entire world is not about them the answer is obvious take a pause please pause i am also working the first one is obviously solipsistic they make the make the discovery uh, selfish discovery <laughs> no arresting discovery uh, and you discover does not make sense so it has to be arresting okay arresting here obviously would mean something that a uh, very startling discovery because up till then the baby was thinking that only it exists okay five next one let's look at the words below ran the gauntlet to run the gauntlet means uh, it is a kind of punishment where a person is made to run between uh, with between a rows of people who beat them with a stick or a weapon you know it was a kind of corporal physical punishment in in an implied sense metaphorically it means to face a public trial uh, ran the gamut that means has gone through the entire you know gamut means a range to ran the gamut he ran the gamut means that he has gone through a whole lot of experiences held the line hold the line means to hold on to a particular thought or idea or whatever blank to override you know ape imitate imitate mindlessly disclaim give up uh, uh, ownership or uh, um, disclaim means uh, you are making a statement that you no longer own something or whatever blank three ponderous It can mean physically heavy it can also mean a book that is very difficult to read because it's very big or you know writing is very difficult to read shabby cogent is convincing okay historically arguments against women suffrage suffrage means uh, voting rights right to vote and franchise and franchisement historically arguments against women suffrage dash from the claim that women would cancel out their husband's votes to the change to the charge that women would merely dash their husband's preferences thus making their votes redundant such arguments while once convincing today seem dash indeed okay take some time i am also working uh, so the first blank should be ran the gamut that means they have gone through uh, this claim was subjected uh, they said this they said that they said that so many things they said so that's ran the gamut uh, would merely ape their husbands okay or ape would they ape or override so cancel out so if women's vote will cancel out that means uh, the husband votes for uh, let us say one party the woman will uh, vote against that party no but the word merely is causing a problem mere is always used to say that uh, this is only this much inte or kuch nahi zyada kuch nahi so they would merely ape they will merely ape their husband's preferences thus making their votes redundant redundant means uh, uh, unnecessary excess superfluous oh so here what is it trying to say cancel out there is a charge that they would cancel out that means the uh, she will vote against her husband and uh, merely ape so that is also there this is also there so ran the gamut is fitting very well for the first blank the second one should be ape they would merely ape mindlessly they would ape that means a precious vote is wasted when you are not using your brain you are not applying your brains to think you are simply imitating your husband then your vote is meaningless such arguments while once convincing today seem seem what at one time they were convincing but today they seem ponderous doesn't fit at all 
they don't seem cogent because they were cogent at one time they seem shabby well shabby is an odd word but the other two don't fit so let's leave it there now let's look at the last one cabal is a secret group of plotters conspirators literati the literary elite great authors hoi polloi the common people the rabble layman laity blank to incendiary provocative incendiary literally can mean a bomb it can mean as an adjective a speech that provokes people into rioting and all that a demagogue a rabble rouser is likely to deliver incendiary speeches parochial very narrow minded partisan uh, very limited and showing partiality to a particular group or one's own clan or one's own tribe so narrow minded parochial means narrow the opposite of parochial is cosmopolitan very liberal broad minded world uh, worldwide or, or something like that dulcet voice very sweet facile over simplified disapproving facile means facile victory means easy victory facile has many meanings a facile comment is disapproving facile people are gullible facile victory easy a facile explanation over simplified okay facile movement is very fast so facile is a dangerous word you better be careful urban means very sophisticated painstaking means uh, requiring a lot of effort taking a lot of pains his theory perpetrated perpet means uh, to state it is perpetrated that means uh, Uh, broadly thought everyone thinks so but not yet proved uh, here purport means meaning also purport what is the purport of the shloka meaning his theory purported that means stated uh, that proper enjoyment of art was a matter of pure aesthetics it is surely he says a base of pleasure being enjoyed by the untrained dash okay the museum tourist with dash sensibilities and even the art theorist and art historians who simply appreciate cultural reference or narratives in art a predilection means a tendency a, procl- a proclivity preference a bias an inclination a predilection he thinks leads to dash view of any art that includes such elements okay now please read it in your own uh, way slowly try to understand i am also working take a pause The first blank should be hoi polloi. Second blank should be parochial. And third blank should be facile, a facile view. Because facile is a negative word there. So it leads to a facile view of any art that includes such elements. So well I think you have understood if you still didn't we will have to discuss this a little more. I think it was fairly easy not a difficult one. Jai Shri Ram.